Hi everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today's topic is really important for anyone who takes painkillers, especially if you're a woman. Now, most of us, when something hurts, we simply maybe pop a couple painkillers and don't really give it a second thought. You know, headache or joint pain, muscle pain from working out, or maybe menstrual pain and so forth. However, recent research has uh, found that there's a direct connection between high blood pressure levels and the use of non-aspirin painkillers, such as acetaminophen, which is Tylenol, and ibuprofen, which is like Advil and Motrin. Additionally, the report reveals a much higher risk for women than men. Now, the Harvard study involved about 5,000 women aged uh, between 34 to 77, all having healthy blood pressure levels to start. However, here's what the study revealed. For women not taking painkillers, the risk of developing high blood pressure levels was only about 1% to 3% a year. Now, for women taking 400 milligrams a day of over-the-counter painkillers, which is the equivalent of two Advils or ibuprofen, had a 60 to 78% increased risk of developing high blood pressure levels. And for women taking an average of 500 milligrams of acetaminophen, which is one extra strength tablet of Tylenol, had a 93 to 99% increased risk for developing high blood pressure levels within three years. That's double the amount. And the cause of this is because of the fluid retention and the decreased kidney function due to these drugs. Now, why is it worse for women? Now, this is because women have smaller blood vessels in the heart making them more vulnerable to high blood pressure and inflammation of the blood vessels. Now, aging also causes higher blood pressure for both men and women. However, as women get closer to menopause, there's a dramatic drop in estrogen, which causes a woman's arteries to become less elastic and more constrictive, thus contributing to high blood pressure. Unfortunately, giving women synthetic hormones such as estrogens and especially progesterone makes the situation only worse. Okay, so what options do we have? First of all, you should only take these drugs occasionally. Don't just pop them all the time and use them as needed and definitely not daily or even more than three times weekly. By the way, aspirin does not cause high blood pressure, but it has its own set of negative side effects such as stomach pain, ulcers, excessive bleeding and becoming acidic and so forth. Now, most pain is related to inflammation. So drinking more water, Taking higher dosages of vitamin C, magnesium, and curcumin will help with the inflammation and, of course, reduce the pain. Lastly, make sure you control your blood pressure using natural solutions, especially if you're over the age of 40, both men and women. It's one of the primary causes of heart and brain aging. Well, that's it for today. You know, I hope this video gave you more clarity. Now, if you liked it, please subscribe to this channel because I've got some really cool exclusive videos coming out soon. And if you found it helpful, please share the health with others so they can benefit as well. Also, do me a favor and please leave your comments below and any questions you may have about today's topic or future ones. And most importantly, do yourself a big favor and make sure you take a look at the exclusive bonus video below about the five best foods for lowering blood pressure and my favorite formula for improving your blood pressure naturally. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.